Will this replace ChatGPT, known as Open Assistant? It is an open source chat based assistant similar to a chat gpt and let's just take a look at the current setup right now so here is the dashboard and what's interesting with this is one it is currently open source which means you can see the code and you can see everything that's going on with this as well as this dashboard and this is pretty cool because that utilizes the community in order to fuel the information and the update so here for example this is called task and essentially let me just show you what happens if you click on this it will actually give you a prompt and then you can go ahead and write your own response to this so for example here is what are some alternatives to meditation having the same benefits and then here is a current response right here and then what it asks you is if it's your opinion first of all is this message spam put yes or no and also select all that by message, not English, and then the quality. And this, if you can help out with this uh, particular prompt, you can go ahead and answer it. If not, you can skip it to go to the next one. And then here's another one. Write an email to computer science professor. Basically write an email, and then it gives you this response here, and that's awesome, thank you. And now this is asking you again whether it is legit or not. And there's also other ones where I've seen you can actually manually type out a prompt. But again, you'd have to go through these to see exactly which ones those are. But as you can see, this is how it's set up right now for the users to go ahead and give their input. So I know you want to see the actual chat interface. So here I am on the chat section. So I already asked this some questions before, but let's go ahead and create a new chat just to show you how it is set up. And let's just go ahead and click here and then it'll show up this little UI where you can type in a message. You can see the model is currently using llama 30 b underscore six and these are a gun their inference from hugging face stability ai and then these model trains down here as well so let's start off with a simple question i like to ask this for every ai software such as ChatGPT as well and this is a keep up the date so for example who is the richest person today and then i just hit submit and basically it will give a response and pretty much based off here this again so this is using information off 2021 so right now the information it seems like it has some similarities to chat gpt except with this current knowledge right here this is actually unless something changed elon musk is not the richest it was actually bernard arnault which was the um current founder unless they change it again that this information is still technically not accurate based off of what I last checked. So this was the actual richest person from current date, Bernard Arnault, which again, he's the founder of famous brands like Louis Vuitton, etc. So this is from 2023's information. However, this one currently is showcasing older. So that is something right now, it seems like these some of these apps aren't actually up to date with some information. However, let's ask it stuff that is typical. You could ask a uh, chat style AI application. Let's say, uh, give me a to-do list to lose weight and let's see how this performs and i'll show you actually some research comparisons too with uh, ChatGPT and open assistant and as you can see here it looks like it has the nice numbering system realistic goals eat healthy foods and what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask it one more question and then i'm going to type that into ChatGPT 4 and i want to see how it answers it to see the difference physically from the uh, actual website and also the actual answer, the content of it too. So you see it here, it has quite a bit of text and I did ask it earlier. Let me do real quick. Um, what is the max characters you can include in a message? So this is actually important because ChatGPT4 has a significantly higher rate or response that you could get from the AI and limits in terms of the actual amount that it returns such as a couple hundred words thousands of words matters especially if you're doing it for some complex things such as like coding but for like the typical to-do list it doesn't really make sense to need you know 20,000 characters and right now it shows and we're here to include the message so here it doesn't even answer it from when i asked it earlier so let me actually do this and that's something I noticed too, I don't see any way to cancel the response. So that's interesting here. I meant for you. So let's see if it can understand for what it means. I don't have a character for my responses. I have a mental character. 
So this is interesting. So this is based off of, this is the current question I asked it today. So if I actually go back to my history of my previous responses, you can see here, I asked it the exact same question. It said Elon Musk, which currently that we know is not the accurate number. Can you code? Here's some code, check it out here. And here, so this one says, it's 4,096. So again, this is literally the exact number that I think ChatGPT says. So I don't know if this is still utilizing ChatGPT style responses in the data or not, but the thing is, it could actually add links though, ask it for the GitHub code, which I clicked here. It didn't actually direct me, lead me to the uh, GitHub. However, I have it open right here for you to check it out. And here you can see the GitHub, I began open source. And basically this is how it's set up and you can see all of the uh, information regarding how to start this up. But basically if you know code, you can check it out. But if you don't, just note that it's open to the public. Now there are some caveats you need to understand. So I'll show you for the responses, there's certain things you can't do. So for example, they say do, you know, make it polite uh, approach, you know, make sure it's pretty much a normal type, nothing crazy. And then they say don't copy from another AI software. So ChatGPT don't just straight up copy, which I'm sure some people probably probably have. Obviously you can't violate laws, etc. So this I think this is the main part is like number one they listed is don't use ChatGPT in the response. Cause again it's like how are you gonna know? One is if it's complex enough to know it's from ChatGPT and two is what if it isn't and then they think it is, then they just cancel it out. Again, I don't know the behind the scenes, but that is something to uh, keep in mind. And these are just more guidelines on their actual uh, examples. And I checked out the frequently asked questions just to see more about this project. And basically, it is currently still on the early stages and there's some more stuff you can check out. But basically, I wanted to show you the team behind it. So this is what's interesting to me because this is called LA Ion, Lion, whatever you want to pronounce this. And uh, currently it says, truly open AI, 100% nonprofit, 100% free. And to my knowledge, again, nonprofit ideally would mean that the information they're putting out here on one is you can access the public and two is it's not a business driven company however from previous examples and definitely comment share your thoughts below if less i'm missing something open ai was a non-profit company until 2020 apparently so out of nowhere it just switched to basically not non-profit and now again, if anyone knows the details regarding how that works, definitely let me know because I know I saw a quote from Elon Musk in an interview saying how how does that even make any sense? And then also it was created as open source, which is hence the name OpenAI. But then apparently once it stopped becoming a nonprofit, aka it's poor profit, is now become a closed source. So again, if someone could explain how that even makes sense or if that's even something normal, definitely let me know. But as of now, currently open assistant is nonprofit and it's open 100% free. But in 10 years from now, will that be the case? Again, I don't know. I don't know. But this is just the current view of the open assistant. So now let's actually compare this to ChatGPT because you want to see one, it's free, two, it's community backed. So people are helping out with it. So let's truly see if this is uh, even a viable option to go ahead and test out. So let's start off with a question and then I'll copy and paste this to ChatGPT. And let's make this uh, quite complex. So I'll say, uh, let's do this. Write a business plan for someone starting a bakery dough, let's see, bakery cookie business. And in, let's call this Texas. And let's say you only have, let's just put $5,000 to invest. How can I make money? I just put, I'll just keep it very simple. I'll copy this, hit submit, and then while that is seeing here, let's see what this actually writes out. And okay, showcases my exact prompt, calls it a name, which is cool, shows the budget, and shows the markets. Okay, interesting. And okay, this looks like typical, you know, nice little summary overview. Showcase the park line, cool, cool. Okay, so now, this is general view. I'll let it I'll continue while I go back. I'm gonna go now to ChatGPT4, and I want to see how it compares. So now I'm back on ChatGPT4, so now let's go ahead and paste this question in, and let us press enter, and take a look at this. So executive summary, it is literally, like unless I am seeing things, it is copying Almost, it looked almost identical to that first introduction of the uh, response. So we see market analysis, okay. 
so in terms of the response i mean unless i'm seeing things it looks almost very identical to the uh, open assistant response so I, I think i mean there's not really different ways you could go ahead about the differences in a text-based reply i mean there's only so many different variations you could do but again like for example if i were to type this out myself and i you know outline the same structure it's very hard to detect you know chat gpt versus not chat gpt if i were to change up you know a couple words myself but let's go back again to the here so here it is so it's edit summary market analysis park line so we see some pricing that's nice way to market this and see operational financial projections and wow okay so based off of <laughs> year two we're already doing 250 to hundred thousand dollars which is <laughs> kind of crazy out of for you know 5k investment like man i had to start a cookie business myself but uh again this is just an overview business plan obviously so i mean you gotta predict gotta project some sort of roi or else you know people aren't gonna want to invest but let's see here so this is actually interesting okay so here it doesn't showcase from the general view any sort of financial projections at least from my quick yeah i don't see any financial projections here it does talk about steady slow growth which is i mean that makes more logical sense because coming from 5,000 to 300k doesn't really make sense in two years unless your company goes crazy but i like this i like this part where it showcases um actual investments where your money's going so that's pretty cool and you can see here general with this uh ChatGPT 4 makes more like realistic sense versus the open eyes kind of like kind of like Shark Tank style. Well, hey, I'm going to make a million dollars, you know, in five years type. But again, you can see the comparisons right now. Obviously, ChatGPT has been out longer, has more development. But this is just a general overview of something more complex question. And aside from that, this is the overview on the open AI assistant and currently open source. So what are your thoughts on this? Share that in the comments below. And aside from that, I can subscribe to see the latest updates in the AI space.